Ain't that good, Kiki? Well, I got the sandwich. People protested him putting up signs saying end road work. <laughs> Turbo prop propellers. They can lift off in a very small little area. They're specialized propellers. So if you go to Las Vegas Trail and McDonald's, this is the only takeaway drive through McDonald's in the nation. There's no eatery inside, or there's no dining room, or whatever you call it. And it's basically, you just pick up the food, right there, and hey. you can go into the lobby and pick it up too. Is it teacher week? Appreciation week. Free mm -hmm. breakfast meal teacher week. That's usually in through? April. That's usually in April. But you can't. Oh, wait, it's May. Improvement is my review. Needs improvement. Management side, water. They finally put a fence up. Which that was a bonus. The fence did go up while I was there. I was there for this time two years, one time, another time for two years, and one time for six months. But they finally put the fence up and this is the first time they've had a fence up so they could go in the right direction there's also the pool was recalibrated I guess it was I don't know what it looks like now because it has a tarp over it but it used to be probably quite the place built in 1969 right off Vegas Trail Las Vegas Trail it was the third time I'd lived there in this particular area which this area okay first of all there was a person killed at this church a long time ago um some parishioner deacon guys had to kill him because he uh shot two of the congregation and was trying to rob the tithe the, the tithe bucket or whatever um and I don't know all, I'm not going to talk about all the drugs that have come through White Settlement, but a lot of the trouble lies right here at this bridge. You don't see as much of it. But the amount of panhandling that's come here is probably, it, it could be even in the millions. It, it's been the best way for a long time. Don't have anyone right now because they're pressing down, but that's a spot right there. Um, and they'll they'll also go to the QT and pass through there at different hours. Probably not right now. But I've had friends and people that I've known in theater that have lived in this area. One of the writers at Hip Pocket, I couldn't zoom on that, sorry. Um, P. 
Pete Gooch lived somewhere in this area. When I, I had gone over there a long time ago, this is probably like a, maybe the 90s, which it probably was a little bit different. Look what they put down right here. But um, he ended up moving away with his wife and, and kid. Um, but he invited me over to one of these apartments and introduced me to Alfred Hitchcock. Now, not the ghost of Al Alfred Hitchcock. And Alfred Hitchcock himself wasn't there, but it was Rear Window that we watched. And we also watched James Cameron's The Abyss. And we had steak, and Leslie made... Um, it's like this... Well, the steak, I don't remember the exact type of steak, but it was good. And then there was a... Uh, Man, if only I could think of it. Artichoke. Yeah, there were artichokes that were dipped in butter. And you scraped the meat off. By kind of like scraping it. Anyway, it was some one of these apartments. Um, but um, it was pretty good. You know, I, you know, they were really... They didn't seem like they really enjoyed where they were either. They'd look out the window and like check on their car every three or four hours or so, you know or so, I don't remember. And then um, it was kind of a, a double feature with dinner. I think there might have been like wine and European cigarettes or some type of cigarette, I don't know. He smoked a kind of a, a very odd cigarette. Now he wrote uh, two major plays that were at Hip Pocket. One was about Ed Wood and that came out the same time Tim Burton's came out. That one was called Hubcaps Over Hollywood. I think Tim Burton's movie was called um, Ed Wood. But I was asked to play Ed Wood and had to turn it down because I had to play Stanley Kowalski in Streetcar Named Desire because I, I was getting college credit. So it was, you know, it would have been a lot of fun to play Ed Wood. Now, now later I would go to Paris, <clears throat> France, and look at the Louvre and museums, and I I saw Ed Wood, which was you know Tim Tim Burton's movie uh, with Johnny Depp. I saw the the movie in a this old kind of rustic movie theater in Paris, and the subtitles were um, in French. You know, it was it was in English because um, sometimes they'll overdub pretty sure it was English. Yeah, it was English. It had just came out, and uh, I saw it. I went out, I landed, my, my mom and my stepdad took me to Paris, and right when I we hit the sidewalk, I immediately went to the nearby uh, cigarette vendor and bought a pack of marble cigarettes, or marble lights, or something like that. Probably marble lights. And um, began smoking along with the entire city. <laughs> Everybody in Paris smokes. So I was like, I, I have to get cigarettes immediately. And uh, then walked around and listened to the music. And, and then, oh, look, Edward's playing at the nearby theater. And I, I used the ATM because I think I had a card or something, some kind of spending card. And uh, this it was the first time I ever heard anyone use the phrase scoozy. Because she probably knew I was English. They say, uh, well, they say Marcy. Uh, I don't know what they say. But anyway, they say something. And this lady, I was at the ATM for just a second, just for like a little second. I was looking at the ATM and she just walks up right behind me and says, Scusi. And I was like, is that French? And uh, then I moved out of the way. I think she was trying to say, excuse me. She, she knew I was an American. Um, and then, you know, I made it to the theater and watched Johnny Depp's performance and was like, I'm glad I did not take the role. I was going to play it very manic like that. I was told to. We were getting ready for it and I was looking at sweaters. Angora sweaters or whatever. And uh, I, I regret not being able to take that. Another guy that, that took it was Ed Kennedy who uh, he took the role. His name was Ed so I figured that would be better. We did. We all went and watched it. It was kind of like a musical almost. And Ed played it very. It was a very physical performance, all over the place. Very neurotic, just extremely neurotic. And you know, these women are in it and stuff. You know, if you ever know anything about 
hip pocket theater shows back in the 90s. There were a lot of ladies in it. Anyway, I just want to tell that story. Well, looks like we're back at Kroger. We're probably doing some shopping. Enjoy the show. <laughs> They're oh, nice. decommissioning <laughs> these <laughs> movies cool. at uh, Redbox, and these were all just being given. It was limited, but I went through uh, many Nicolas Cage ones that I had set aside. The Nicolas Cage has done a lot of movies, but these are just what we got, so... Let me go ahead and we, yeah, we'll go put through them later. The put it they, in the car. They were, it was time. Yeah, here. this one's known as American tradition. because they're always updating their stuff. Because I used to work at Kroger and people complain about it. They were right. supposed to get rid of the trash. Okay. Well, at least we got some Redbox movies. See, I think you have to be over there. See, it normally doesn't look like that. So they updated. I don't know. I think there's two different ways to do it. Normally you can go on a... So just the other day, May 1st, 2024, this particular Kroger, uh, someone named Michael Pitts came in, stabbed the cashier several times. She was, I gotta find toilet paper in a minute, but she was taking, uh, she was taken off uh, to the hospital and survived the stabbing. They say it was possible robbery. They don't know for sure. The man was uh, held in custody, but he was subdued. Uh, he was held down by the other Kroger workers until an uh, officer Perez showed up. It sounds familiar on the officer's name. That officer's name actually does sound familiar. He showed up and, uh, and arrested, made the arrest. This happened a few days ago on May 1st, 2024. We just got the news on it. It's a horrible stabbing, but the ladies survived. I'm looking for toilet paper right now. Well, just this one time. All right, so go go down. Yeah, yeah. you okay. have to go where it says uh, no. Oh, go down like you're going up. Does that make any sense? <laughs> oh, the other way. Like that. Okay, go to coupons. You press view coupons. View all coupons. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was sorry, I bet all moving brains kind of not all, all right. There. And then oh you just go on the search engine there. to find out, you know, what it is, whatever you want, and mm -hmm. then you just clip it from there. Okay, you can't take photos of it. Of, of which one? Of anything, <laughs> like you can't take photos while you're shopping, like photos of the I don't know. coupon. The other gentleman said that you could use the QR code. Or yeah, something. well, that's for delivery. Right, we already focused on this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Oh. Like, to me too when you're not going to have those, like, <laughs> you know, the QR code, I'm just like, oh. mm. So we're going to do a quick coupons, mm -hmm. and we're going to look for this. Mm -hmm. Got it. When you buy one, da da da, download. Your coupon deal. Right, when you buy one, La Benturito Street. For, free, for the sake of Fritos. Looks like the guy playing the up and coming filmmaker kid in American Beauty. You know, the one that, that 
entices Kevin Spacey's character. He was also in Beloved with Oprah Winfrey. All right, so you gotta get five of them. So we're going with two energy drinks made by this company right here. And then we're gonna jump this Rockstar right here. So I'm not a biggest fan of Rockstar, but they got the punch out one. This guy, the guy's name was Wes Bentley. That was an American Beauty. Wes Bentley. Guy's name is Wes Bentley. Looks kind of like him a little bit. A little touch of Jared Leto too. Probably Jared Leto from, uh, I don't know what Jared Leto movie is it? Uh, Requiem for Dream. Right here. Baja Fiery Mango. That's gotta be good. Made by a company called Doritos. Hmm. I'd go with that one right Baby. there. Oh, sorry about that. Just to let you know, there's also Late Night Sizzling Cheeseburger, which I thought was interesting. And there's something. You know, it's hard to believe that someone got stabbed here just the other day. This could be the ending of the future. It's five dollars worth of cat food. Don't forget your dog bone. You know those Cassavetes films? Well, they don't smile like that, but. You know, like in the, in the film, it freezes. Like easy. Alright, we found this right here for two ninety nine. Hmm. Alright, this looks like switch it over to a Kroger brand of Zesty Ranch, which is two sixty nine, which is still pretty pretty out there. Or we can go with the Fresco. We'll try ranch first. Actually, what we're probably gonna do is this right here. Just line. Looks like the rock star didn't make it. Well, we had a rock star spill right at the counter. 